Hey everyone, and welcome to the second video on this channel, where I'm going through the whole process of remaking one of the first miniatures I ever made. So let's get right into it. So this is where we left off last week. In today's episode, I wanted to finish adding the flooring and potentially varnishing it, giving it a nice rich colour. I want to also add the final panelling to the walls and potentially framing them with a nice soft edge wood frame. This will continue that motif from the hardwood floor and give everything a nice cohesive design. And last but not least, I wanted to laminate the bar in wood, focusing primarily on the bar counter itself, adding that nice pattern detail to the front. I started off with the flooring as it's a nice quick job to get done first. Once I was done with the base structure, it was time to varnish. Now this, as you can see, instantly adds some nice rich colour to the flooring and this will only get darker and more rich the more layers you add on. Now with the flooring finished, we can set it aside and leave it to dry while we start working on the bar. Now initially, I thought I could just laminate over the top of the card with the wood, but then I realized it would just become too bulky and it just wouldn't fit the size that I had planned out beforehand. So I decided to basically strip down the card model and measure it out and cut out all the individual pieces out of wood and join those together. And I just think that just in general works as a better idea. The working in wood allows me to be a little bit more ornate. So I decided to add some framing around the shelf and the mirror of the bar, softening the edges on the outer sides as well. It just gives off that nice detailed look. When working on the back of the bar, I wanted the hole to be a little bit more rough rather than perfectly symmetrical. And the good thing about working in wood is that you can basically snap pieces off and get left with quite natural, realistic breaks, which is what I was looking for anyway. Now that the main body of the bar is finished, we can focus on the bar counter. Primarily, I want to focus on adding that really nice pattern detailing to the front of the bar counter. Now, contrary to the actual body of the bar, with the counter, I was able to keep most of the card structure and just build on top of it. This allowed the whole structure itself to be a lot stronger and not as flimsy. I'm really happy with how the bar counter turned out. The detailing on each paneling looks great. The strips of wood that cover the seams between the paneling works well. And even the countertop itself, it's soft edges. They all just come together beautifully. So initially, I hadn't put too much thought into what I was going to do with the back of the bar counter. But as I was putting so much detail into everything else, I decided why not continue it? I placed some shelving systems into the back of the bar counter where along the top shelf, I can place some bottles and some glasses. And then along the bottom shelf, I can have some working drawers that could be ice storage or even some extra bottle storage. So here we have the finished structure of the bar. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm not going to be varnishing it this week as I wanted the bar to be a darker, richer color compared to the flooring just to give it that contrast and differentiation. But unfortunately, I don't currently have any darker varnish with me. So I've ordered some and it should be with me next week. So now we can move on to the wall and especially onto the paneling of the wall. I remember last video, I wasn't sure which design I was leaning towards the most. So I posed the question to you lot. And after reading all the comments, I can see that the darker left-hand side panelling was the one that you lot decided to go for. So after I attached the panel designs to the wall, I decided to create some varnished wooden frames for each panel as detailing. I used slightly fewer layers of varnish on the panel framing than I did on the flooring just to create that colour differentiation.
I'm really happy with how it's turned out so far. I feel like the colors are working really well together. The dark tones of the panel design work really well against the green, as well as having that wood color in between, giving that seamless transition for the eye, making it more appealing. So initially, I was gonna stop there, but I really did wanna test out some lighting. So, with some three millimeter white LED lights and some three volt battery casings, I decided to add some lighting on either side of the bar. So, just like in the last video, I don't really want to be attaching certain things permanently together just yet. This is because things are still changing and things will have to be moved around a little bit still. But for testing purposes, I just attach the LED to the battery casing by twisting the wires together. I'm really happy that it works and it looks great so far. I will be adding some traditional 1920s Art Deco style light casings to the LEDs and potentially warming up the light slightly as well. And this is where I'm going to leave it this week. I'm really happy with the progress I've made and I feel like it's really starting to take shape. In next week's video, I'm going to be varnishing the bar, making some lampshades for the lights, working on the tunnel and potentially start decorating with some miniature bottles and glasses. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.